Hey everyone, Sean Dewin here, and today I wanted to go over a very simple way to format your ebook to Amazon Kindle. Now, this is something that if you're working with a ghostwriting company, they usually do for you, but it's good to know yourself. So, if you need to make any changes, uh, you can always go and do it yourself. It's very, very quick, it only takes a couple minutes. And if you're a writer and you are writing the book yourself and you need somebody to format your book, if you go and go to like Fiverr or other a uh, freelancer website and ask for formatting you know you could be charged fifty sixty seventy dollars per book or more just to do the formatting when you can go and format it yourself a couple minutes super easy what I'm going to show you is a very basic formatting it's nothing special but it'll look good and it'll pass the Kindle review when you're uploading the book so let's get started alright so we have our example book here and the very very first thing you want to do is to click on this button here this is the show hide button. It'll show you all the um, like this is the mark you get for like extra spacing. So basically when you click return and add a space it'll show up here. But a lot of times or not a lot of times but sometimes you know when you get a book back and it's showing like this and they do uh, they simply just add a space to make the next page start from the next page. But this doesn't work in the terms of you know if you just upload a book like this to Kindle um, this doesn't count as making the book start from the next page sometimes you know this next page will just start right after here um, if that makes sense so what you want to do is delete any extra space you have and then go to insert page break so by inserting a page break it's telling uh, it's telling it that the page ends right here so anything after that will start from the next page but again we have this extra space here so this is starting from this, the next page but then we have two sentences or two lines of extra spaces so you can always go and delete that if uh, if you want the book to start from the top of the page and the next thing we want to do is format our title super simple the title is title here and then you can go and change to whatever fonts you want to use um, and then we have the subtitle this can be a subtitle right here or sometimes I just leave it a normal and it's fine too but let's just change the font color make it a little darker change it to bold looks a little better and you want to always match the font uh, style just looks better that way alright so the next thing we want to do is just keep going and right here again insert a page break delete extra spaces here insert page break now as we format our book the table of contents is the last thing we do because we need to format each chapter with heading 1 uh, so that when we create a table of contents it'll pick it up I'll show you what I mean later but first let's just keep going and delete extra space now this is our chapter title so all chapter titles is always going to be heading one if you have any other section within the chapter that you want to show up in the table of contents uh, then you can do heading two heading three but I usually just keep it a heading one so what you want to do is heading one and then you can move it into like the middle or the left side it is up to you and you can change the you know if it's a bold or a size to make it simple though what you could do is just right click here modify so that every time you click on heading one it's gonna automatically be set to here so what I like to do is uh, double space and 16 font bold so click OK and every time you click on heading one it's gonna automatically give you that setting so keep going oh and for the body text what you want to do is justify alright so just like that we're gonna keep going so we are going to put page break and delete extra space this is the chapter title so go back to home and click on heading one move it in the middle and the body text will be justified 
So justify it. That is not justified. That's justified. Okay. So the next one, keep going. Um, now, since you want to kind of end the page here, right? Instead of putting a page break here, you can just put a page break here. Uh, bam. So it's a nice cutoff point. Delete the space and put heading one. All right. So the same thing. Justify, insert, page break. We're almost done. This is a short book, so. Okay, and it looks like this is already heading one. So I'll just move it to the middle. Justify, page break. Page break, okay. Heading one. <clears throat> so it's super simple, super easy. Uh, now that I have an assistant, I have my assistant do this, and he does a great job. But you know, in the beginning, I was doing all of this myself, and it only took me a couple minutes. Uh, to really do the entire book. So I add page break, delete the space. It's heading one, move it in the middle. Justify, delete space, page break. Alrighty, so insert page break. Almost done, guys, almost done. Justify. Alright, so this is the last one. Conclusion, uh, heading one. And... Justify. So we're good to go in the manuscript. So the last thing we need to do is to go back up to the ta table of contents. And most likely you won't have the table of contents. Even if you do, since we kind of touched the heading one or the chapter titles, we need to kind of redo it. So delete all the table of contents and just go to references, uh, table of contents, click this arrow thing, custom table of contents. Uh, you can show levels. So if you have like heading two, heading three, this means it'll show up to heading three. Uh, you can just leave it like this because we only have heading one, so it doesn't really matter anyways. But you don't want to show page number because this is for a Kindle ebook, and you want to click on use hyperlinks instead of page numbers. So what happens here, and also you can kind of you know do your own style like whatever you like, but I just keep it like this from template. Delete here. And yeah, just keep this on and click OK. Replace the table of contents, yes. And what's going to happen is every time uh, you click on it, it'll just take you there. For some reason, it picked up the title formatting and also the copyright page, which is OK. It's on heading one, so that's why it picked up, uh, which is fine. It happens a lot of times, but all I do is just delete it and also delete this because it's not really relevant in the table of contents. There is no right or wrong answer. You can leave it in. I don't think it's going to be a problem. You can even uh, format this in terms of adding space, making it bigger. It's up to you, but the hyperlink is still going to stay even if you do that. So you can click here. It'll take you there and the hyperlink is working. So let me try one more. Inclusion. Bam. So the only other formatting that you could possibly do is like 
hyperlink within a text so you can have like a click here to leave a review oh. and what you could do is hyperlink this and put a link to the Amazon uh, review page and so people can just click on it and leave a review and make it simple for them you know but the way to do that is simply to highlight right click hyperlink uh, paste the Amazon review page link here click OK and that's it it's gonna show up as a URL link and it'll be clickable so that's all you have to do it's very basic um, very easy to do this formatting so hope that makes sense hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next one